Okay, folks, you read the title. We're making a peach cobbler pound cake. Super easy, let's get it. Now, if you guys pay attention, you look down here, look, there's a few ingredients that go in here. If you guys don't have a mixer like this, you can go ahead and use a hand mixer, that works too. But for my tool of choice, I'm gonna be using my KitchenAid, right? Real easy, and don't forget, when Christmas coming, we kinda like wanna change it up. Instead of doing a traditional, you know, lattice top, we put it in a pound cake. Now, first thing we are gonna do is, I'm getting ready to go ahead and preheat my oven. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 325 degrees. So we just hit bake, three, two, five, and start it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my spray, and I'm gonna go ahead and just spray my bunt, uh, my bunt pan, right? We already sprayed our bunt pan. We got our oven, you know, coming up to temp. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and melt my butter. I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I just wanna have a quarter cup of this. All right, so I melted my butter, right? I'm gonna put this out here like this. I'm gonna put my cinnamon in here. Then I'm gonna do a half a cup of brown sugar. You guys know how to do the, the sugars, right? You just pack it down. Uh, we just put that in there. Right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just bring my melted butter and pour this right here like this. Now I'm gonna take my whisk and just get this mixed up like this. Now, I'm using canned peaches, right? I'm gonna go ahead and drain all of the juice off of this. So after you drain, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna lay these down any type of way you want to. I start off by just laying them some sideways, you know, some up like that. You guys know I'm all about that flavor in the kitchen, but not just in the kitchen, in the game also. And that's where today's sponsor, Underdog, comes in. It's your smooth entry into fantasy sports. We're talking more than just football. You're making, you know, picks across baseball, basketball, hockey, UFC, and more. Listen, it's very straightforward. Choose whether you believe your star player stats will climb or dip. And hey, you're not just talking bragging rights here, we're talking like real cash. So start your own entry with just a couple of picks and triple your money or swing big to win, you know, up to 20 times your entry. Real simple. Now check this out, folks. Underdogs rolling out the red carpet for new users, right? Listen, now they got this exclusive pick for Dak Prescott. Can he hustle for more than one yard? Yes, sir. Okay, anyway, that's all he needs to, you know, that's all he needs for the win. Super simple, right? Now check this out, I got a special promo for a limited time. Underdog is offering new users a $100 deposit match. That's right, $100. Now let me break that down for you. You put up 100, they put up 100. So rep your team, make your own picks with Underdog. It makes watching the NFL even more interesting for me. So rep your team and make your own picks with Underdog. All right, so look, we got our pe peaches at the bottom. We got everything sprayed. Now remember we made this buttery cinnamon brown sugar mix. I want you to pay attention to this right here. All right, so now we just take that mix and we just pour it around like this. I just keep going, you know what I mean, until it's all, you know, gone. All right, so I'm gonna set this off to the side, right, because that's ready, right? Now, in my mixer, check this out. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get ready to put in, this is room temperature butter, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna start off by putting I guess these three sticks or three half sticks. Anyway, the total is a cup and a half, right? Of room temperature. That's the key, folks. If I hadn't said that already, listen, that's what messes us up. We gotta have room temperature butter, right? Room temperature, raise this up. We're gonna put this on high and we're gonna go for about two minutes. I ease into it, folks. I want you to see, you can look and see what the butter looks like. That's right. It only takes about two minutes, right? Now I'm getting ready to add my cream cheese. Listen, if those of you guys that worked with cream cheese before, you got to let this be room temperature. But I'm using a great mixer, you know what I mean? So this kind of like takes a little bit of the hard work out of it. But you know what? Just best practices, room temperature. Now we only gonna run this for about one minute. You wanna get yourself a spatula and you just wanna turn it. You wanna hit the bottom of it for everything that just didn't get, you know, incorporated right, right? But look at how it's starting to become creamy. You know what I mean? Look at that. So after, you know, scraping everything, now we just come back. I'm gonna go about another 30 seconds, then I'm gonna keep it running and then watch. You know what, let me just show this part too. The reason I use these, for those of you guys that are new, when I pull all of my ingredients, look, we got sugar, sour cream, I got vanilla extract, and then I got eggs, right? When I put the eggs in, I'm gonna do them one by one. You know what I mean? We put them in there and just let it work, but I just put them in the order that I need them, folks, and that's what makes it so simple. Instead of me trying to cook, reaching, you know, going through all of my cabinets, trying to figure out, hey, where is this at? This is how stuff get overworked 
and you know burnt and things like that so i'm turning this back on i'm gonna ease it back up to high and then i'm getting ready to you know by the time i get it up to high and grab this that'll be about the time i need and again we finna start in this order boom 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 one at a time At some point, you gotta run your spatula around the edges, get underneath the bottom, you know what I mean? Bring this around just like this, and then I'm gonna put it back on. You just wanna ensure that everything gets mixed up, right? You wanna take some of your rest of your peaches and you wanna cut these into bite size, right? That's it right there. You see that right there? I'm not gonna bore you with that. Listen, you guys got it. Just bite size, that's good. You know what I mean? And if you guys are using canned, you know you can always get to buy the dice ones also. So you're gonna need about just an equivalent to about having, uh, I'll just say three peaches, you know? So it's really up to you how peachy you want it to be. Now, I'm gonna do it like this. You guys can do it any kind of way you want to. I'm gonna just tell you, I have success doing it this way. Some people would probably take this and that, right? And then they would mix it up. I'm gonna tell you now, I could mix this up like this, but I'm not, right? This is the way I do it. Got that going, I'm gonna put this on low. Right, and now I'm gonna start adding this. Right, we just wanna add it just the way I'm doing it here. All right, once you get it remixed, and then the key thing here is, you don't wanna like over mix it, right? So I'm gonna take this, scrape the bottom of that. Now we gotta get all of this out, right? So now we just take it, get your spatula, and then you work in between. This attachment here is what I'm gonna be using now because we're gonna do folding, right? Now, if you guys are using a hand mixer and been making it this way, this is when you would stop and you would just put the peaches in, the bite-sized pieces, and you know, fold them in manually. But because I have this, let me just push this down, right? Now let me just use this part to scrape this because I want to get it all. So now we just put this on, right? Lock him into place. You see it's got that little scraper right there? I'm gonna bring this up. So it, you know, contours along with the, uh, with the bowl. And then I just turn this on just slow, right? Now we bring the peaches and the rest you guys can see. Some of y'all can see it already inside of the oven. When you get done with everything, I'm gonna take you guys back. For those of you guys spend some time in the kitchen with your grandmama, great grandmama, or mama, you remember when she used to give you the beaters? You know what I mean? You just take them, you hit them like this. All right, so you can see, I done brought this back into play. Just set that there. Our oven is already up to temp. Now here, you know what I mean? This is gonna be a little bit on the thick side, but don't forget we sprayed it. So I'll just bring it, pour a little bit in like this, make the turn, right? Bring it around, bring some more. And then we just come, you know, come continue with this process until we get it all in here. Then we do a little shake, get some of them bubbles out of there, right? Real simple. All right, so I take it, do a little bit of that. Then I take this, you know, with your spatula, and I kind of like just smooth this out, you know? But don't worry, when you put this in the oven, a little bit of that heat gonna help it to spread also. And then I'm gonna give it a couple of more taps just to get everything to settle in. I'm already preheated. Now listen, we're gonna go in the oven for about, I'd say about an hour and 20 to about an hour and a half, right? But the main, how do we know when it's really done? Is when we stick that toothpick in it, right? So I'm gonna test it at about an hour and 20 minutes. Okay fam, look, took it out. You can see how it rolls, right? What I did was, don't forget we got peaches. So I took a little, I took a butter knife and I just went around the edge just a little bit just to break this up. You can see how it like caramelized on the edge, right? Just, you wanna do that just to ensure that it comes out. Now we can do this two ways. I can go and get my small baking rack, put it on here and then flip it over or I can get a plate like this, which I'ma do. And then all I'ma do is flip it, let's see. Do that, then I like to give it one of these. Right, just to break the seal. 
All right, so look, now that we got the peach collar pound cake, we got it on this, you know, on this plate, right? We're gonna let it rest and we're gonna let it cool. All right, so what I wanna tell you is it forms like a little bit of a crust here. It, mm. But you see that right there? Now I'm gonna lay it in here just like that. And this way, you can see the peaches, how they got mixed up, that's it. I can show you here on this other side. Look at this right here. Okay, folks, you wanna talk about something that's moist. Only thing missing that I don't have on here, which I'm not gonna do right now. What I'm saying is I'm not just gonna get no ice cream right this second, right? But this pair is great with that. This is great after that Christmas dinner. But anyway, I'm not finna over talk it. Guess what, folks? Cheers. Mm. Boy, the aromatic that comes off of this. This whole house smell good. Mm. Well, folks, I just said it a lot of times, you know what I mean? Whew, it's good to be me. You know why? Because I get to sample all of this. And you know what? I know that all of this is great. You guys make this. Let me know. Come back. Let me see your comments down in the comment section below. Tell me, is it anything that you would have done a little bit different than what I just showed you right now? But if you ain't never had a peach cobbler pound cake, check this out. Consider yourself exposed. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, Thank you for watching this video. You know what I'm about to say. Like, subscribe, do all of that. But you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to take this and I'm gonna exit this way. You know why? Because that's where the ice cream is. Peace.